What happens when the weather gets nice? Open house. That's our topic this week on Simply Des Moines Market Update. Hey there, thanks for joining me. This is Les Solgrove. This is Simply Des Moines Stats Weekly Market Update, the show where we talk all about what happened in the Des Moines and Central Iowa real estate market each week. And each week's show is recorded and available for review and downloads of graphics at Des Moines MarketValues.com. So let's get in to this week's show and see what happened here. So we're at week 10 of 2022, March 13th. Uh, This is data as of yesterday, March 13th, 2022. And you can see that we're we're holding our own. We're still in an even market in the new home and new condo, uh, new construction inventory levels. But the balance of the market is in a seller's market. In fact, it's in a deep seller's market. At the very end, I've got a graphic that'll show you not just months of inventory, but days of inventory. So... Um, you know, we're holding our own pretty good here. 506 homes are currently for sale that are existing homes. That's the resale properties. That's where we sell the bulk of our properties there. Um, 867 homes are new construction. So the balance is uh, a little over half of our inventory is new construction home inventory, which starts around that eh, close to that 300. There, there's some under two or under three, but most of that's uh, 300 and up. So Anyway, our days on market, that's uh, going to be a topic here in a couple of weeks. Uh, overall, 13 days on market is is the average. And that's pretty impressive when you consider that new homes and new construction condo homes uh, are making up over 90 to 100, almost 120 days of that marketplace. But uh, the bulk of the inventory is selling that's selling is in that uh, existing home sales. So about seven days on market. Now, last year we got down as close as two days on market on existing homes and condos. So we have a little bit of room there yet. We're not quite at the at the real heat of the market, but we're going to get there pretty soon here. So, so the topic this week I mentioned was open house. Open house season has kind of officially began. I held open house yesterday um, and the weather was just gorgeous. I, I saw more people walk by my open house uh, than I really had come in. Um, I had a pretty good open house. It's in a price point that's a, uh, at five sixty. So the buyer pool for that price point is a little bit lower than than maybe the two to three hundred thousand dollar price points open houses. Uh, but I did have a good open house. I had about five couples through, and I thought that was pretty good. And traffic has definitely picked up. And um, but is it as much as previous years? So that's what we're going to kind of take a, a dive in and look at here. So this is a, a graphic that kind of shows you the weekly open house count by week so far in 2022. And you can see that we're we're pretty consistent. We're between three and four hundred homes held open each week. Now, last week, the week nine, we were just under 300. Um, there were a couple of weeks prior that we were under that 300, but predominantly we've been into that just um, you know, under under 400. We almost hit 400 homes for sale this uh, this or for sale uh, open house this past weekend here, but uh, didn't quite get there. So how does this compare to say previous years? Well, this is what 2021 looked like. We are actually down a little bit in our open house traffic this year. And it's not because people don't want to hold opens or realtors aren't wanting to hold opens. We just don't have the inventory. And that's part of the, the challenge there. Uh, most homes that are coming on the market right now each week are hitting the market somewhere between Thursday and Friday for the weekend traffic. And then uh, Mondays and Tuesdays, we see inventory drop dramatically because that's when all those homes are, are pretty much turned in as sale pending. So we just aren't being able to uh, keep caught up with our, our inventory. We take another look back here. We go back one more year and we look at 2020 versus 2021 and 2022 and you can see that um, you know open house traffic was was much much higher in 2020, and there's going to be a little change here. I'll, we'll show this graphic in, again here in a couple of weeks uh, when we kind of talk about open house traffic as as the market really really picks up. But keep in mind this is probably the last week that we had in 2020 before COVID-19 really took effect of our marketplace. It was around that 15th or 16th of March 
that um, you know COVID all of a sudden started shutting down uh, schools and businesses, and um, it, it was certainly a, a change. So um, I've got a graphic here. Let's let's take one more slide here, and you can kind of see what that looks like. Again, the red here is is 2020, and here we were chugging right along around that 850 open houses, and there's where uh, COVID-19 hit. And, you know, we dipped under under 100 open houses open uh, that second week of April. And that's, this is all open houses. This is new construction. This is single family resale, everything. And, you know, it took a, a, a short pause of open houses, but then it kind of bounced back once we were able to kind of jump back in and, and conduct business in 2020. Um, you know, the, the market was was. Um, a little tentative that year. We didn't know exactly how things were going to happen. And then last year we realized, hey, we're going to continue to do real estate business. And um, inventory levels really started to drop, not because people weren't necessarily holding, you know, putting their homes on the market. It was just they were selling so fast. And as a result, when we talk about new construction, or I'm sorry, when we start to talk about open houses, you've got to have the houses to hold them open, right? Um, when they're selling so fast, a lot of times the open houses are maybe scheduled, but they never happen because uh, they just sell so fast. So the blue line is 2021. And you can you see right here that we just really dipped. We were pretty much around that 225, 250 mark for most of the summer. And a lot of that isn't because there wasn't interest. It was just, we didn't have the inventory. We're starting to see, you know, hopefully we'll see our inventory uh, sales slow just a little bit. That'll give home buyers a little more chance to get into some opens. But uh, I can tell you that um, the conversations I had uh, yesterday with open house visitors, um, several of them were, were lamenting on the fact that they, they had made offers on multiple homes and were beat out. And, you know, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating for um, a home buyer out there today trying to get their foot in the door and, and uh, make an offer on a home. And so I think we're going to still see some open houses, but, um, you know, it's just going to be a, a real tough year. So this is just looking at for the, the last 10 weeks here, just looking at the existing homes on the market. So not new construction, but this includes condos and condo townhomes and uh, resale properties. The um, last year, you know, you can see again, compared to that last year was the blue line. So comparing that to where we are the first 10 weeks, it was still pretty much up um, last year compared to where we are. And a, a lot of this, again, is completely because we are just out of inventory. And uh, the red line shows that, you know, home inventory uh, levels, two years ago were, were pretty, they were on the upswing. We really were poised in 2020 to have an increase in inventory year and probably have one of our best listing years. Uh, but then when COVID hit, just everybody decided they were buying instantly. So this is existing homes open. Um, the new construction open, you can see here that it's a little closer um, because builders can kind of control the inventory there. We actually have a few more open houses this week than we had a year ago at this time, which is good. That's only happened, uh, you know, maybe once back here on week six where we kind of touched that. Um, but we're starting to build some more new inventory for new construction, and that was being held open. So at the height there, we had um, around 625 homes, new construction homes for sale on the open house rolls for uh, 2020 there. So one of the things we also kind of look at each uh, once in a while, anyway, I pull this up and I show it probably once a quarter. This is the showing time service. And this was a graphic that showing time, this is what showing time is, is our service where agents can request showings on individual properties. And that data is tracked each week. And you can see that right here in this little orange line here, this is 2021 and 2020, I'm sorry, 2022. 2021 was the dark line and the light gray line was 2020. And so our showing activity is actually up for this year, even though our open house traffic is down and our inventory is down, we're actually seeing more showing activity 
uh, here in the month of February and March, which just says that you know the buyers are out early, they're trying to buy quickly, our inventory isn't growing, but the showings are increasing. That just tells us again that that buyers are buying at a pretty darn fast pace. So be interesting to see how this uh, goes uh, throughout the year. I suspect it's going to kind of just mirror 2021, but probably at even an even faster pace there. So speaking of pace of sales, and this is uh, kind of my last slide here, this is, uh, we talk about uh, months of inventory. And a couple of weeks ago, I converted this into days of inventory just to kind of reduce it down to something that, you know, is, just kind of really hits home here. Uh, you can see that of all the homes again, um, you know, 37 days is about the average of all homes. That's new construction uh, and uh, existing homes. But the existing homes right now are only on the market on average about 18 days. Now we know that homes are selling in you know a couple of hours here and there, but by the time you factor in all the homes that are being sold, it, it expands that out to about 18 days on the market, 15 days for condo townhomes. Uh, that is certainly the one area that we are constantly begging for listings in, um, especially in that two to $300,000 price point. Uh, if you've got a condo townhome you wanna sell and you're thinking about going on the market, this is the absolute time to do that. There's only, you know, 60 some, 70 some houses, uh, condo townhome resale properties on the market. So that's a, a pretty low, low number of homes there. So anyway, that's the show this week. I appreciate you joining me. Uh, if you ever have any questions, please leave your questions and comments in the show note chat down below. Um, also, if the, you're viewing this on social media, like on Facebook, for example, or on Twitter, you can leave your questions there and I'll pick those up as well. But always appreciate your, your fine comments and always encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And thanks again, guys. We'll see you all again next Monday. Have a great week.